I'm Kim DeBrew, and I'm representing AAUW, the American Association of University Women, today and not Rotary. Although we do have Rotarians who have supported our group as well, uh, but we do have several uh, Kauaians, Seropathomists, so we've reached out to all of the service organizations uh, within the Tri-County area because we bring in girls to our Tech Trek camp from all three counties. And so I have some numbers to give you, and then I'll tell you what we did, and the girls will give you more information about what we did. We brought in eight girls from Redmond, 10 girls from Bend, two girls from Prineville, six girls from Madras, one from Culver, four from Warm Springs, two from La Pine, and three from Sun River. So we had a total of 36 girls at our camp. This was the first year of the Tech Trek camp in Central Oregon. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a history, and then I'm going to let the girls uh, talk to you about their experience. In 1991, the American Association of University Women put on or hired a research uh, study about why there were so few women in STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and math. And uh, the results of that study uh, showed that in middle school is the, is the time, the prime time, when girls make the decision not to move on into the, the STEM fields. And so in addressing that need, um, a group of women from AUW and at Stanford University started the first camp specifically for that. Now Tech Trek is a residential camp, so all these girls uh, came to OSU Cascades, stayed in the dormitories with us for a full week. They arrived on Sunday and left on Saturday. So not only were they introduced to uh, campus life and the idea of going to college if they hadn't thought about it before, they were also introduced to a wide variety of STEM careers. All of the instructors and all of the adults involved in the program were women, so that they had uh, role models and mentors right there with them the entire time. Um, there, um, about five years ago, in, in California there are 11 camps. They put through about 8,000 girls since 1991 and through the 11 camps. Uh, most of those have shown a tremendous change in uh, uh, there's the statistics in terms of moving on and going to college and staying within the fields. And a lot of them, after attaining their, their degree and, and, and getting into their field, have said that they, the number one uh, thing that helped them choose to, to go into a STEM career was indeed Tech Trek Camp. So we're very pleased about the fact that national AAUW picked up from California. And, and here's another reason for you to hate me. I'm from California. Um, <laughs> I just put it all out there. Um, and uh, so I was uh, on the state board in California, and so I, I knew about Tech Trek. So when they wanted to start a Tech Trek camp here, I had just moved up to Bend last year, and they asked me, because of my knowledge, if I wouldn't help get the camp started here. There was one other camp in Tillamook that they uh, celebrated their third year. Those are the only two camps in Oregon. And so I said, of course, you know. So we got this going with uh, 36 girls this year. We're going to increase next year by double that, so we're going to bring 72 girls uh, into, into the camp for us. We, we look for the underserved populations. Uh, we go out to the science and math teachers um, and the schools that we've identified uh, and uh, ask them to pr um, promote this and, and, and recommend some girls that they think would benefit from going to our camp. And so all of these girls were not only recommended by their science or math teacher, they had to fill out a very detailed application <laughs> including essays and then they were interviewed by AUW members before they were chosen. So you are going to hear from five of the girls out of the 36 girls that attended our camp. They are uh, all, all but Bella are from uh, Redmond schools. We've got Elton Gregory. We've got uh, three of them from Obsidian. And then Bella goes to uh, Pilot View, right, uh, over in bed. So uh, I'm going to let them tell their tale. It will be interesting to hear it. Uh, and we're going to start with Bella. And she'll talk to you. And then she'll introduce as they go through when we get all done. I'll be back up to answer any questions. Bella. <laughs> 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 
Okay, just talk loud. Okay. He's going to kick it off. Hi, I'm Bella. <laughs> and, um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I moved to Bend from California, and uh, I always wanted to go to college, so I thought this would be a cool thing. And I'm looking at the floor. But, um, <laughs> so I went to Tech Check and it was really cool because I learned about a bunch of things that I wanted to learn about and things that I didn't really know that sort of existed, like careers that I didn't know existed. And so, um, like, I, they had a lot of parts of the camp, like they had chemistry, um, they had like learning about plants, cloning plants, and uh, fish ladders. And it was cool, um, like engineering fish ladders and stuff. And so chemistry, we um, we like sort of did stuff. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> cloning plants was fun because it they taught us like what they do and stuff. If yeah, like yeah, that was interesting. I'm oh, sorry. Um. Cobb Salad Ranch. Hello. Oh. <laughs> um, it, it gave me a chance to like get to know people and be more um, social, I guess, in a way, because I'm not very social. And so it helped a lot with my social skills. And um, I don't know, I, it was a really fun experience. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about any of the courses or any in particular? Oh, yeah. What was your favorite class? Yeah. My favorite class was probably um, sorry. Okay, just pick one that you liked a lot. Okay, I liked the chemistry class because um, it had some cool stuff in it and the uh, liquid nitrogen they showed us that, and that was really cool because I've always wanted to see liquid nitrogen. The chemistry class was put on by Ben Research. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just going to walk down for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. The, the next person is Kenzie. Before we get, well, Mackenzie's coming up. I'll, t I'll tell you that a part of uh, what we've asked the girls to do as they come to camp is to come out and, and speak. And so you obviously are aware of the fact that this is a part of, you know, getting them used to public speaking. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Matlock. I'm in eighth grade at Elton Gregory Middle School. I had the opportunity to take Tech Tech this summer, and it taught me a lot of interesting things. For example, before this, before this speech, we had a, at Tech Trek, we had a Diane Allen who came in and taught us all about motivational speaking and how to feel calmer for public speaking. And I actually used that before I came, and it seems to be helping a lot. <laughs> um, my core class was engineering. I came in to Tech Trek thinking there's no way I'd ever want to be an engineer. Our teacher, Miss Morris, she took us to the dam. We talked about trout and nature, and we even designed fish ladders. I left Trek, Tech Trek, and I was and I thought, wow, engineering is really cool. I, this is something I really would consider for a future job. We also <laughs> cloned we also cloned plants at Tech Trek, and I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> so we, uh, we, we cloned mint plants, and I still have mine, and it's very healthy, and producing a lot of mint. <laughs> uh, interesting facts I learned at a bunch of different classes at Tech Trek is that we made, we used a box and we put tinfoil on it, and we actually were able to cook marshmallows using this. And I think it's called a solar oven, and that was really cool. And then I learned that the eclipse happens in the same place every 350 years, so I, we were very lucky this summer to actually get to experience that. We, 
also went to the watershed, and I didn't even know this, but you can tell a stream's health by seeing what macroorganisms are in the water. We waded in, and I actually caught three mayflies, which means the stream is very healthy. I had the opportunity to go to St. Charles Health Care Center, and we talked with a bunch of women doctors and learned about the different jobs you can have in the health care career. We also had a professional women's night where we had a lot of women with a lot of interesting jobs who came in. One of, we had a, a bunch of engineers, we had a botanist, and we had a nurse, and even an Anne came. Yes. <laughs> then one you would th think is not part of an experience, but we actually got to go to the dorms, which gave us part of, which got us ready for the college, because in college you're going to stay in a dorms with no parents. Just, I know I stayed there the whole week, okay? <laughs> and then you've got to figure out how to get along with your roommate. So when I first got there, my roommate and I, we didn't exactly click at the first time, but by the end we were best friends. Um, and in conclusion, we had a great time with, at, I had a great time at Tech Trek and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> What was your favorite part of it? My favorite part was the water fight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to ask what Tech Trek had to do with squirt guns. Did you learn how they work? Or um, that? that was pretty much for fun. <laughs> we, we, we had the girls running crazy. Their schedule was so, so packed that uh, one night we decided to tell them that they had to leave all their belongings inside the dorm because we were now going to teach them all about going through an, an x-ray machine like at the, at the airport. So we got them not to... Not excited. What's that? Not excited. Not excited. Not they all excited. came out like... <laughs> and, then, and then they discovered that there were water guns, two different colored water guns. So they split up into two teams and they had this... And then we had massive water guns that we were shooting yeah. So it was just a way of letting them chill out after, after some horrendous procedure stuff that we put them through. That's who you introduce? Oh, you got another question? Do you girls learn any coding in your classes? Yes, um, there's a technology core class, but I had um, engineering instead, so I didn't get to do that part. And But I had friends who did that, and they said it was really fun. We learned about coding. And then I also did a separate class where we coded and got these little orbs on the ground. Robots. Robots. And they rolled around. They rolled around, and you could program what you want them to do, make them go in squares. Um, next we have Cami. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm Cami, and I went to Tech Trek this summer with a lot of great people, and um, this. Um, something that's like about me is that I never write anything down. I pretty much a visual learner. I don't like notes at all. I never write them down and usually get in trouble for not. <laughs> and so like um, when Kendra was talking about we had a whole bunch of inspiring women come and talk to us at Tech Trek at, like in kind of in the middle of the week. And all of these girls had these papers that were written about each of the women that were coming and I didn't do one of them. And I just, I talked to them and I wrote notes about a few of them and I still have that notebook. Um, I'm kind of a hoarder, but. <laughs> so, and um, something that like was really amazing about going to Tech Trek is meeting all of these new girls that like you never thought could have ever existed because they were all great. Like, I mean, I know. And so like all of them were really super nice. I didn't have a problem with any one of them. And I'm a really social person. Like, I'd never have problems making friends or anything like that. But with some of the girls that, like, weren't having friends, I would gravitate toward them. So, <laughs> but um, some of the classes, like, um, I had engineering with Mackenzie and Haley. But um, it was really cool to see how things that I thought were just, like, ordinary, how they actually worked. Like, 
a fish ladder. I thought it was just like a little thing that's connected to a stream that like helps fish. Like, I want the stream. <laughs> but um, I, they're so complicated, it like actually blew my mind. And actually making one was like not easy, but easier than I thought it was going to be. Because <laughs> like after seeing it, it looked really complicated. So it was really interesting to um, like to actually see how things like that work were made. <laughs> and um, some of the classes that were really amazing, I had chemistry too, and that mint plant, I still have it. <laughs> Her name is Minty. <laughs> and, um, and like, and the smoke guns, I don't, they're these big bins that you fill up with smoke and you shoot them at people. Uh, Haley knows because yeah. I shot it at her. <laughs> and um, some of the other classes, like, just, it was actually awesome, like, going, I especially like going to Bend Research because to see all of the things I didn't like ever think about how medicine was made, like it, it was just a thing that's like you see every day, so you never really think about it how it's actually made. So like going there, you realize how complicated it actually is. And before I went to Tech Trek, I really wanted to be a prenatal nurse. So I've always wanted to go into STEM. Like I've never wanted to not be in STEM, but like now I really want to be a uh, chemical engineer because of going to Bend Research. And also going to the hospital, my mom works at the hospital as um, she hires the doctors. <laughs> and so seeing the people that she works with was really cool. And seeing everyone that is in healthcare is also really cool. But not really my thing, uh, kind of gross, but <laughs> <laughs> people's opinion, but you know. <laughs> and um, really staying in the dorms and getting to know the people that you're living with for a week is also really amazing because you meet all these girls that are like, so much alike with you like, it's awesome meeting so many new friends like I like Bella and Mackenzie I never knew they like existed out <laughs> <laughs> getting to know them now like whenever I hear them I'm like oh it's Mackenzie she's my best friend <laughs> um, but it's honestly it was probably one of the like most efficient things I've ever done because I've never like gone to something like a camp where I actually learned <laughs> I've just gone to camps and it was like water parks and fun stuff. I mean, it was fun. <laughs> but you wouldn't think, okay, you should wait, hold on, I didn't expose my ears. You wouldn't think that um, the science or like STEM just in general would be as fun as it was a tech trek because they made everything so much more fun than like you would actually think it was. Like school. Not fun. <laughs> but like at Tech Trek, it was school, but it was like fun school, which is weird. So. <laughs> and the water gun fight was amazing. And all the girls there, like I said, like four times, or like I just can't. <laughs> that was great. And um, I'm trying to think of something else. Okay. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was probably going out and like seeing all new things like going to um, the lava lands. Going to lava lands was really fun. Uh, had hand sanitizer spilled all over me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just like just going there and learning so much. Cool. Great, great. because I've always loved math and science and engineering, and it's always just been a fo focus point of my life. My mom is a physical therapist, kind of. She works on animals. So my entire life, it's always been about learning how each system works in your body. And so science was always integrated into my life from a very young age. And when I got this opportunity, I was over the moon excited. I could not stop smiling for about a week. And then when I found out I got in, it was two weeks, <laughs> and <laughs> when I went, um, I was so nervous, so, so nervous. Um, I didn't really want to make new friends. I was very fine with the four people I knew, didn't want to make me anyone else, but by like the first hour, I had made a couple a couple new best friends. It was, pretty, it was awesome, and the classes were so informative and so fun. Like Cammy said, school isn't the funnest, and this was... They made it more approachable to us, so they made it so that we could learn it, but we could also learn it so it would stay. 
they made it so instead of just teaching out of a workbook, they made it so that we could get hands on and that we could be able to work with the science, with the engineering, with the coding, that we could have a chance to do what we might want to do in our futures. I personally um, want to be a lawyer, so I don't really want to work in the STEM field. <laughs> but um, you could be a lawyer in the STEM field. Not yeah. that kind of lawyer. I want to be a human's lawyer. Human's <laughs> 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 lawyer. Yeah, we're going to talk on the way, but then we'll be back to us. <laughs> I saw so many different job opportunities, and if law school doesn't work out, um, I'm definitely going to that. Like, we got to see how pills were made. We got to see how even um, sewage fa sewage treatment plants worked out. And it was so neat to actually see, like, the bowels of our city, to be able to see how everything was. <laughs> <laughs> So I go upstairs, make my bed, we're good. So 
Then over the course, I start making new friends. My roommate was pretty outgoing and loud. She kept me up all night. <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> yeah. It was Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> and then the second day, my other quad mate, Maisie, comes. Um, one other girl couldn't make it, so she ended up coming in late. She got this big welcome, and it was nice. And over the course of the week, we started doing more and more stuff, and I got more and more tired from staying up all night. <laughs> and we just had a great time. One, we watched Hidden Figures. We got to like pretty much go to the movies, and they played it with one of those things in classroom, the projector, that's what it's called. <laughs> Advanced English. <laughs> so, um, it was really cool, and we got like little tote bags that said hidden figures or something yeah, like that. Modern, modern figures. figures. Thanks, back one. Yep. <laughs> and, um, we had a water gun fight, that was cool. <laughs> I got soaked, my friend was kind of like, in the background, like, okay, I feel sick. I'm just going to kind of stand on this dirt mound and hope nobody gets me. Well, I came in and squirted her a lot. <laughs> and in the end, um, I was really sad to go because I know a lot of the people I um, met there did not, either didn't live in Redmond or went to a different school than me, except for, like, Beckwith and Cammie and two other people who aren't here. <laughs> so, um, we all got a sign a big t-shirt, and um, my friends from my quad, um, one of them, her last name was Potter, so on her shirt I wrote, you're a wizard, Rachel. <laughs> and on my shirt she wrote, really I thought I was a witch. <laughs> For, at the beginning of it, I was just like, sweet, no guys. Sweet, no one's gonna annoy me. Well, <laughs> um, Beckwith um, kind of annoyed me at points. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> just a little bit, but <laughs> we're okay, a lot of it. But, we're still pretty good friends. I mean, when we met each other, we hated each other. But then we found out, oh, we hate the same people. Let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your favorite part? Um, my favorite part was probably um, cybersecurity. It was like Juliet and I, we were the only two people in our like friend group that had it. Um, so we got to like, do coding and stuff. And we were supposed to make these bracelets of binary code. Well, mine failed, so I just kind of, okay, don't look at this, it's not mine. <laughs> Girls next to me, don't look. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Okay, that was good. Tech room, thank you. Yeah. So you may have gotten the gist of the fact that we split the camp in half, and half of the girls took engineering, and the other half took cyber coding. The engineering, the first day they went, they took a field trip over to the fish ladder in Bend, which nobody gets to go do. They got, they got, you guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but you guys got to do stuff that nobody gets to do. Yeah, yeah. Like, go, like going through Bend research, nobody gets to do that. In the bowels of our city. Yeah, in the bowels of the city, you're right. So, yeah. So we're gonna talk. So, uh, <laughs> so do you guys have any more questions for any of them or for me? What was yes. the total count of girls there? We had 36, and it? this coming year we'll have 72. The following year we'll have 100, and we'll max it out at 100. Wow. What did it cost to put it on? It's about uh, $1,100 a girl. Ooh, nice. you guys have. We, only ask the, we only ask the families to contribute $50, and of that, if it's difficult, we have sponsors that uh, are contributing funding for um, that $50 as well. But so our total budget last year was forty-two thousand, and this year we're doubling, so it's eighty-four thousand. So um, I have envelopes. If anybody wants to personally sponsor anybody, you can get an envelope from me and uh, send a check beyond what what the, the club does as a, as a group. So when is it again? Next June. Uh, it will probably be early July next year. We, we don't want to conflict with any of the rodeos, and we we did this last year. We conflicted with the um, what's what's the county? county 
No, not the shoots, the one north of here that matters is oh, in Jefferson. Jefferson County Fair. So we try not to do that this year. Because a lot of the girls that are in 4-H also want to come to camp. Yeah. I just, had a, I just noticed a couple of the girls have uh, arm or finger injuries. <laughs> not from my camp. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this one's volleyball. I don't know about that one. I got tendonitis. Oh, that's right. That's right. She told me that. Yeah. So it has nothing to do with staff <laughs> or my camp. Or <laughs> but you, can you even imagine 36 of these that I had Whoa. to live with? <laughs> Excuse you. Huh? Excuse you. I'm awesome. Yeah, you got, our, you, got the privilege. you got the privilege. Fortunately, we had uh, four girls from uh, COCC over in Bend uh, that were in the um, child development program, and so they were our camp counselors. They were about 18, 19 years old, and they were fabulous. So we gave each one of them nine girls, and they were our um, buffer. <laughs> But yeah, it was, uh, and the teachers stayed in the dorms with us, and we had a camp nurse. The camp nurse, none of you mentioned Florence Nightingale coming to do oh, a presentation. Oh. <laughs> the camp nurse is well known. She's a she was uh, rated the number one camp nurse in the nation this last year, and we're very fortunate. She's a member of our AUW group, and so she. Uh, one of the things that she does is portray Florence Nightingale, and so uh, she came in, and and it was as if we were way back in the 1800s, and then suddenly she disarmed herself of her gear and came back as, as uh, Jane the nurse. So uh, that was really fun too. Yes? So they all got a taste of tech. Is there next steps they take? Like, you know, 4-H is a great club that mm -hmm. you can design programs that they could maybe step into. Something there like is that. a program, and I'll let you guys know about this. It's called Chick Tech. Uh, that's just starting up in the high school areas. It's, so all of uh, the three counties, the high school areas, and so I'm working with them uh, to be able to try and feed some of the girls up into the Chick Track program, but it's brand new to the area as well, so. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah.